A family spent 17 years gathering at the graveside they believed to be their father's final resting place before discovering that someone else was buried there. Now, Tom Bell and his sisters believed that their father, Thomas Bell, was under the soil where their mother in the, well, their mother in the plot. Well, she bought a plot for her and her right. husband, right? Ah, excellent. <laughs> and but they, they what happened they is, when no. they were making the arrangements to have their recently deceased mother buried next to who should have been the husband, they were informed by the undertaker that someone else was actually buried down there. So yes, the grave diggers, they were able to find a coffin, but the coffin had a woman who was buried in the plot, and that's where their father should be. So, so far, grave diggers have unearthed six graves, but still have not been able to find where Thomas, their father and husband to the mother, is buried. Tom, Tom, Thomas, Thomas, not A ghost him wife. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> he's ghost. And it's even funny because sure. he's dead, so it's ghosting. Yeah, I got it, Mr. <laughs> Comedian. <gasps> no, but what you don't tell me, sir? That was you enough in the afterlife. <laughs> that was the one that you was do that. Mother. That was the one you to me. I spent my years alive with her. You know why I spent that afterlife too? You're terrible. She's not going to find me. No, but on a serious note, suppose that happened yeah, to one of your relatives. Yes, sir. You believe that all these years you are going to the graveside yeah. of your relative right. only to learn years later mm -hmm. that is somebody else. Then so we start talking to the wind. We start talking to the wind. No, that's serious. So I hope right. you find him though. Why? Because it brings closure. The man don't want to be found. No, but next thing you think of the man's still alive. It's closure for who? Closure for the family it, doctor. No, Sanik. It closure. Is, no, Sanik. No ghosting me in the afterlife him, either. I come find you. It is causing him emotional stress. The man no want. Sanik, seriously now. After the man comes <laughs> up and him decides to listen to me, I'm going to pass on before my wife. Yes. Right? And, and then she'll follow me. The man, the man only got peace, man. <laughs> Give him a chance, so man. So he's ghosting her in the afterlife. Me now. And so I she go look for him, I'm workplace. I hope she go find him and say, tell me to my face. So you don't want to speak That's to I mean, me. Did you just say you really, in, in you're the really afterlife? Going back, <laughs> you're really going back to it? Did you tell just me to my face. face. Sonny, can you have a look to you now? What? So I'm serious? Hey, I'm going tell you this, man. I'm going sure, so make, make sure so make, it's not afterlife. I'm going back like cream soda. <laughs> Some green line. Uh-huh. You sound like you know a lot about these things. Uh-huh. And you can uh, find me. Oh what? <laughs> Before that man, mom, every night we get up and move. Get up and move. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're specifically talking about those people who Slip run up. off and don't want to tell you that they don't want to speak to you anymore. It irks me very much. So Daytime Live is going to take a break on that note, right? When we come back, we have our first game with Colleen Douglas. You don't want to miss it because well, guess what? Show? Even if I lose, I win because it's Doctor that I'm playing with. Ma May I call like I have to for stay you. for this. I have to stay for this. You have to stay. If you ghost me, you see? <laughs> Your eye. Crazy eyes. And they...